Hooper and Ben Isaacs, Brothers of the Heart. And he hears the bird. All ready to have a good time tonight.
with y'all again. It's been two years since we were here the last time, and uh, don't feel like it's been that long. Two years? Two years, years ago. Wow. Yeah. Man, I can't, I can't well, I'm glad we're back now. I tell you, we've been waiting for this for a while. Coming back home, it's always good to come back home to the valley. And it's always good to bring my friends with me, these great friends that we've made. Uh, you know, uh, we're just so thankful to be able to do what we love to do. We started out and we were uh, called, uh, a few years ago, we were called Brotherly Love. And we found out that there were other groups called Brotherly Love and we was going to be sued, so we had to change our name. <laughs> so thankfully, Mr. Don Reed of the Statler Brothers named us Brothers of the Heart. Yeah. So we're thankful for that. Thank you, Brother Don. So, here's a little song called Brothers of Love. Tennessee this uh, listen to the music and we have a brand new one's going to be coming out here in November it's called Will the Circle Be Unbroken so uh, looking for that anyway uh, I'm going to do a song for you that uh, I love doing and uh, years ago but especially during COVID we were all doing a lot of walking and talking to ourselves and uh, I pulled this song back out and started singing it to myself it's an old Jackson Brown song I hope you like it it's called These Days
Somebody's ringing the bell. Do me a favor. Open the door and let them in. That's my relatives here, folks. Oh yeah. That's a fun song, Bradley. That is fun. That is a lot of fun. It's so good to see all y'all out here, and it's good to feel this temperature dropping a little bit. I can tell you that. Uh, no, 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 no. I think we can all agree on that. But uh, I'm gonna introduce this guy out here, uh, playing upright bass, and uh, you've already seen with his family. Uh, another nice hand for the Isaacs, folks. Wow. They bless me every time I get the opportunity to hear them sing. And this guy is, uh, we can't say enough good things about him. He really uh, works hard for all of us and uh, just an incredible singer, musician, producer. Uh, he does it all, does it all very, very well. We've got any Don Williams fans here tonight? He's going to sing you a great Don Williams classic country song right here. Make welcome on bass and vocals. That's Ben Isaacs right there, y'all. Make it welcome.
stage with these gentlemen. I absolutely love these guys, and uh, it has been uh, the funnest thing. You know, uh, Jimmy asks me all the time, he goes, why in the world would you try, uh, not, uh, not want to travel and sing all the time with those pretty girls? I said, because they're my mom and my sisters. <laughs> you ever travel with your mom and sisters? Pray for me, folks. We're going to do you a song. Uh, actually, Bradley's going to sing you a song that has, is uh, one of my most favorite, and it is by far one of the most requested songs off this project. And Bradley, I love how you set this song up. But anyway, the most incredible bass singer, Mr. Bradley Walker. Make him welcome. Thank you, all. Thank you so much. Well, this, uh, this is a great song. I've loved uh, the Hensons for a long, long time. Uh, some of the greatest gospel music ever written or recorded, I think, they were responsible for. And uh, this song, uh, you know, we everything going on in the world today, we need a light. We need uh, something that we can can look to, look to. And you know what I'm about to sing, don't you? We, uh, we need a, something that we can look to for guidance and direction. And uh, we all know where, the, where that guidance and that direction comes from. And that can only be one place, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. He is and will always be our lighthouse. So this is for, for y'all all of this, uh, this song. This is the lighthouse for you.
Good job. You all have your cell phone lights. Turn your cell phone lights. Let's sing it. And I thank God for the life I owe my life to be for Jesus is the life. And from the rocks of sin, He has shown His light around me. That's beautiful. That I can clearly see if it wasn't for the lighthouse. Where Keep yourself a hand. Yeah. Wow. Oh, thank, thank you all so much. So We're having such a good time tonight. Boy, that was a good feeling there. Bradley, Bradley Walter, man, what a... <laughs> Brings me to a really special time of our show. We want to we wanna do something, too, uh, kind of special here. There were some guys that I sang with, I mentioned it before, the most awarded act in the history of country music. Think about it. Right here from this valley, from Stanton, Virginia, the Stafford Brothers. From right here. I was able to be a part of that for almost 21 years of my life, and I have to pinch myself sometimes. That some, uh, some guys took me on as a, as a little brother and allowed me to come along and just enjoy some of the best things I ever had in my life. And, uh, and so I want, we want to pay tribute to our brothers. I know Don Reed is here tonight, ladies and gentlemen. He's back here this morning. Don, we thank you so much for coming. We love you with all of our hearts, brother. He is my brother. I can promise you that. But uh, we want to take you back a little bit and do a song uh, that, uh, from the Saddle Brothers. I know there's a lot of probably out class of 57s out there in the audience tonight. So here we go, a little class of 57 here.
nervous like a sewing th a, a sew machine that's running. Yeah. <laughs> My hero's looking at me over there. <laughs> I just want to say, you know, we played here the first time last, or two years ago, like we said, and uh, Mr. Don Ray was, was kind enough then to come and, and uh, support us and, and just kind of give his stamp of approval. And since then, we, uh, if any of you have seen the last project that came out, and this, this new one that's coming out in November as well, he was kind enough to come down to Nashville and interview us for our, our uh, new, new projects at the Grand Ole Opry, and uh, just to, I got to tell you, uh, I met him for the very first time two years ago here, and one of the absolute classiest men that I've ever met, Mr. Don Reed, uh, just an incredible person, so, so thank you for supporting us like you do, and just for being who you are, just a great man, uh, means a lot to all of us, so much. I also want to say a special thanks to someone who's here tonight. He's very special to us. A guy who's pictured me on the road many years and also with the staff of those years ago, Mr. Billy James out here in the audience, ladies and gentlemen. Billy! One of the best bass players has ever been right there, man. We love him so much. Uh, he showed me how to do it. Aha. Anyway, here's another one from, from the Statler Brothers right here. best singers on the planet, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, I know when we were doing this, uh, we were talking one time, we were standing on stage talking about our religion. I told him, I told him I was Baptist, and I said, uh, Southern Baptist, Mike, Southern Baptist, what have you been? We don't know what you are yet. Full gospel? Everything. Well, you're everything. Everything. 
Okay. Bradley told me, Bradley told me, he said, well, I'm a holy roller. Yeah. There he is, the holy roller right there. I don't know where he was going with that, buddy. You know, uh, we, we have so much fun on the road. We, we don't get to hang out as much as we'd like and do this as much as we'd like, but when we do, we just have a ball. And we, y'all wouldn't believe some of the stuff that we think about and say. It's just, you know, we were talking the other night and uh, <laughs> Jimmy said, uh, I don't understand, he said, my last name's Fortune and I'm broke. <laughs> And I said, well, I said, think about this. I said, my last, my last name's Walker, and I roll everywhere I go. So. <laughs> oh, my gosh. We do have a good time, don't we, Jimbo? Oh, we do. Well, I'll tell you what. Y'all got some Hank Williams fans out there. I know we do. I know I'm a big Hank Williams fan. And I got a feeling, you know, uh, when old Hank hears this song, I got a feeling when Bradley sings this song every time we do it, I believe. The spirit of old Hank is standing somewhere around here listening to me because nobody, nobody can sing this song like my buddy right here, Mr. Bradley Walker.
Thank y'all so much. Thank you so very much. I said that was my that was my favorite song on that album, and uh, I didn't even sing on it. There you go. Well, I tell you what. Um, I know I speak for all of us on this stage when I say that it is an absolute blessing and honor every time we get to share the stage with this next man that's going to sing for you. Um, I, I can't say enough good things about him. Not only as a singer and songwriter, y'all know uh, what an incredible singer he is and songwriter and all that, but above and beyond all of that, uh, Jimmy Fortune is one of the finest men uh, I've ever known and uh, one of the best friends that anybody could ever have. I know uh, many of y'all know that because he's, I know he's got a lot of family here tonight and a lot of dear friends and uh, I'm going to tell you that because if you, if you have the, the pleasure to know this man, you know what an incredible human being he is. Uh, every time we get to hear him sing, it's just a, a blessing. And, um, we're just thankful that he's still here with us singing. He, he gave us a little scare earlier this year. Uh, yeah. Had five bypasses. Yeah. Uh, we sang on the Grand Ole Opry <laughs> back in February, and uh, just a few days after that, he was he was going in the hospital for bypass surgery. But the good Lord brought him through it. Yes, sir. And he's here with us tonight in Harrisonburg, Virginia. Thank y'all. Thank y'all for the prayers. I know a lot of prayers went out for me. Prayer does work, ladies and gentlemen. I promise you that. Y'all let him know how much you love him. The one and only the great Jimmy Fortune to sing Desperado for you.
So good. Well, you know what? I brought this next song to the to the uh, to the guys here yeah, for this next project. And I told Ben, I said, Ben, you're gonna sing it. He said, No, I'm not. He said, There's too many words. But as you can see, I know he's a big guy. He's a big guy, right? I made him do it anyway. Yeah, he climbed up on that stool and spanked yes, me. Sir, Ray, yes, sir, Yes, <laughs> sir. I'll tell you what, buddy. And I'm glad he did it because it's one of my absolute favorite songs, y'all. I know it's yours, too. A little song called Jell on My Mind. Jimmy, he's one of the sweetest men you'll ever meet in your life. 
and I love Mike Rogers with all my heart. Please make welcome, right, welcome, welcome Mike Rogers as he sings for you. Thank you. 
back picking with us. Y'all, what do you think? You've seen them, you've seen them all throughout the day, but we won't introduce them again. And uh, what an honor and a, just a ball we have sharing the stage with all this bunch. Start over here on my far left. My far right, your far left. I'll get it right here in a minute. Playing the hot league, electric lead guitar. This is Stewie French. Y'all make Stewie welcome. Back on the drum, Mr. Greg Ritchie. Y'all make Greg well. And on the dobro, showing out for you. Been working hard all day. That's Josh Swift back there, y'all. Make Josh well. Back on the sound, making us all sound good, Mr. Marcus Hyatt. Y'all give Marcus a hand if you would, please. Also, my, bad, my sound man, Mr. Barry Sitter, y'all give him a big hand too, ladies and gentlemen. He's been doing a good job for us, and we love him so much. Well, I'll tell you what, uh, gospel music is a huge part of what we do and it will always be. Uh, we, uh, we always try to pick songs that are very special, gospel, gospel songs especially, that are special to us and special to other people. Uh, for these, uh, for this last project, this song came up, and the song's always been one of my favorites. It, uh, when I was a young kid, I can remember being in church, and when we would sing this song, I would get emotional, um, and I didn't even really understand why for a long time. But uh, as I got older, I realized why, because this song is all about salvation salvation that Jesus Christ gives us freely. All we have to do is just ask for it, accept it. He'll give it to us if we come to Him just as we are.
I'll tell you what, just as I am, if it's good enough for Billy Graham, it's good enough for me. Well, here's a song off of one of my projects, my classics album, and uh, I, uh, I just love this song. It makes me think about my little girls, you know, uh, they used to, they loved a song uh, by Michael Martin Murphy called Wildfire. Y'all you know, remember that song? And, uh, so wherever my little girls are tonight, one of them's here in Virginia, one of them's in uh, Tennessee, and one's in North Carolina. So I want to think about my little girls while I do this song right here. One of my favorite songs.
y'all had half as much fun as we have tonight. We just want to thank y'all for, uh, for supporting us, for being here tonight. And uh, hope that y'all had a great time. It's been a pleasure to be back with you again. And uh, we love coming up here and uh, playing for you so very much. Yes, sir. We're going to do you one more. And uh, this song uh, features Mike Rogers again. And we just found out, believe it or not, uh, this song has went viral. Whatever that means. It on, don't on, have COVID. <laughs> <laughs> on Facebook, it has been viewed over 12 million times. And I'm so honored that Mike does such a great job. Mikey? Yeah. Do it, buddy. In conscious sorrow.
This is probably one of my favorite songs that Jimmy Fortune ever wrote. When I Oh, oh, oh. 